What's up guys welcome back to third floor arcade this is jason and today i'm gonna take a look at the new capcom legacy shinko Hadouken edition cabinet from arcade one up i purchased this one on sale for 399 dollars at walmart which is 100 dollars off the original price tag of this absolutely love the look of this cabinet everything from the side panel artwork to light up marquee to the incredible looking control deck uh, the shinko Hadouken cabinet is jam-packed with 14 capcom classics including some of my personal favorites like Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Final Fight, uh, King of Dragons, Captain Commando, and uh, Armored Warriors. Starting at the bottom, you got the nice looking riser with that 35th anniversary logo in the center. You got the blue on the sides, which looks pretty good. You got the molded coin door on the kick plate, which is always a good touch to these newer machines. The control deck on this is one of my favorite aspects on this cabinet with the uh, world map. Just looks amazing on here. Joysticks feel okay, and the uh, buttons are uh, pretty much what you would expect from these arcade one-up machines. Not the greatest, but uh, they definitely get the job done. This one has the uh, good quality BOE 17-inch monitor. It just looks crisp and clear from all angles. The uh, light-up marquee on here just looks amazing. Definitely flawless, in my opinion. You got that uh, world map in the background. Love that Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo marquee. The uh, side panel artwork is just fantastic on here. You got all the, the uh, characters from the game. And you got that same artwork on the other side. Just looks amazing. One of the other big features with this cabinet is uh, the Wi-Fi online play for all 14 games on this machine, uh, which is just huge on here. It's definitely fun to play these Street Fighter games online. Uh, this cabinet definitely ranks in my uh, top three arcade one-up cabinets so far. Uh, big fan of this one, especially at that $399 sale price. Uh, let's take a look at some gameplay. So here we got the uh, main menu screen. Uh, everything looks really good on here, I think. Uh, you got the Ryu graphic on the bottom left. You got all 14 games, uh, starting with the marquee title, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You got Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. You got uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, which is a great addition to this. Uh, Pro Gear. You got Giga Wing, which is an awesome shooter. Battle Circuit, Captain Commando, great beat em up. Uh, Armored Warriors. Strider, Final Fight, uh, The King of Dragons, Saturday Night Slam Masters, and finally got a Capcom Sports Club. Uh, definitely a great selection of games on this machine. And to the right here, we got the uh, online leaderboards. And another great feature with this cabinet is that each of these games has its own individual game settings menu. Uh, for example, with Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, switch up uh, difficulty, uh, demo sound, I uh, change up the speed, and then you can also uh, turn on and off scan lines, which is a pretty good feature. Uh, let's jump into the first game. So here we got the marquee title to this cabinet, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It's one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Uh, this hit arcades in February of 1994. It also had a bunch of home ports, including the uh, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, PlayStation, 3DO, and Game Boy Advance. Uh, this game introduced the super combos and air combos to the Street Fighter series and also introduced the uh, secret character Akuma. Let's get a quick match in. Let's see how this plays on here. So usually my go-to characters are uh, Ken, uh, E Honda, or uh, DJ. Let's go with, um, go with Ken. All right, we're traveling to USA. Fighting Guile. But uh, if you're online with this, if you have this cabinet, you play online, look for third floor arcade. Definitely down for some matches. 
was actually playing this online uh, last night. But a Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo plays pretty good on here. Uh, let's check out the next game. Next up, we got Giga Wing. This is one of my favorite games on this machine. This is a vertical scrolling shooter that hit North American arcades in uh, February of 1999. Turn this volume down a little bit. This is also ported to the uh, Dreamcast in uh, July of 2000. And then also the uh, Switch in 2021. Let's check out some quick gameplay. So in this game, you got uh, four different characters to choose from, each with their own different uh, storyline. You got Ruby, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, that name. You got Stuck, and you got Isha. Let's go with Ruby. So this game has seven different stages, each with a boss fight at the end. Basically, you're just blasting your way through these levels. Definitely a pretty fun game. There's the bomb right there. Well, let's jump into the next game. Giga Wing was definitely a great addition to this machine. So next up, we got uh, one of my favorite beat-em-ups of all time, Final Fight. This hit arcades by Storm in 1989. Uh, the mission here is to rescue Jessica, who was kidnapped by the Mad Gear Gang in Metro City. Uh, this game was just super successful in the arcades. I believe they sold like 30,000 arcade units of this. I remember playing this at uh, Pizza Hut. Uh, near my house growing up. Definitely one of my favorite beat em ups, uh, along with like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, The Simpsons, uh, The Punisher. That X Men beat em up was awesome. Well, this one definitely ranks up there with those games, in my opinion. I also remember having this on the uh, Super Nintendo as a kid. And I know they sold a ton of copies of that for that console. Grab this plate. But let's check out the next game. Final Flight was definitely a great addition to this cabinet. So the next game I'm gonna take a look at from this cabinet is uh, King of Dragons. This hit arcades in September of 1991. It's another really good beat em up by Capcom. And uh, this is also ported to the uh, Super Nintendo in April of 94. Uh, this game features 16 levels and uh, pretty simple controls, just the uh, attack button and jump button you're gonna use. So here's all the uh, different characters. You got dwarf, cleric, fighter, wizard, and elf. Let's go with the um, go with the fighter.
definitely a fun game to run through. This is one of many good uh, beat em ups that uh, Capcom made back in the uh, 90s. Here we got the first boss. But uh, King of Dragons, definitely a, a great addition to this uh, Capcom Legacy machine. Let's check out the next game. So here we got uh, Pro Gear. This is a horizontal scrolling shooter. This hit arcades in January of 2001. It's a really cool game. Some uh, awesome landscapes and graphics. Let's check out some quick gameplay. And I was playing this game online actually uh, a couple nights ago with somebody. We ran through the whole entire game. Definitely a lot of fun. Just love the backgrounds in this game. Definitely pretty cool looking. Whoa, I'm gonna get hit there. There's my bomb right there. Just wanna avoid all this uh, gunfire and just pick up as many uh, power-ups as possible. Definitely a super fun game. This is uh, Pro Gear. So the final game I'm gonna take a look at on the uh, Shinku Aduken cabinet from Arcade 1UP is uh, Armored Warriors. Uh, this is released in the arcades in October of 1994. Another great beat em up from Capcom. And uh, this one is just also multiplayer. Uh, this game has seven, seven stages, uh, all with different missions. Let's check out some gameplay real quick. So you got four different characters. You got Rash, Justice, Gray, and Siren. We'll go with uh, Rash. Love the graphics on this game. The controls, everything just feels really good with this. Area one clear. Going up against the boss. Definitely a pretty cool game. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. So overall, definitely recommend the uh, Capcom Legacy Shinku Aduken cabinet from Arcade 1UP. Uh, especially if you can get it on sale. I think $3.99 is a great deal for this machine. I'm super happy with this and I uh, highly recommend picking this one up.
All right, guys, thanks for checking out Third Floor Arcade. Please like and subscribe. I have a ton more videos coming. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.